Greetings all you movie junkies and entertainment lovers and welcome to another top 10 video. This year of course is the 70th anniversary of one of the most iconic movie monsters in history if not the most iconic movie monster, Godzilla. And believe me when I say as somebody who is a massive Godzilla fan and pretty much loves almost all of these films, this was an incredibly difficult list to compile and I'll probably go back and forth on it in the future but for now this is my personal top 10 favorite Godzilla films. So coming in at number 10 is the original 1954 film Godzilla, also known as Godzilla King the Monsters if you go by the American cut. And this is specifically the original Japanese version I'm referring to, even though I do really get a kick out of watching the Raymond Burr version of the film. If I am really being honest, I, I do think that this film is just ever so slightly overrated. But it is definitely a great film and does honestly still hold up pretty well and was definitely ahead of its time, especially for, you know, 1954 standards. Can't really say much about this film that hasn't been said already a thousand times before, but certainly the way that they present the dread of the destruction that is caused by Godzilla was pretty revolutionary uh, the way that they adapted it in this film and a lot of it still is really effective and one of the most standout scenes of the film to me is just that scene where it's literally just this woman who's holding her two kids as the destruction is going on around her and she's just praying and praying that they'll make it out and survive and again for 1954 that's pretty pretty dark stuff right there and it is just you know an iconic you know monster movie so that's the original godzilla at number 10. and then coming in at number nine is godzilla against mecha godzilla this probably is i think my personal favorite of all the mecha godzilla films and I think that this, to me, I think probably is definitely one of the strongest of the Millennium Era films. Soundtrack is probably one of my favorites of any Godzilla movie. A lot of the miniature and suit effects are great. It has some of, I think, the best fighting sequences in any of the Godzilla films. Uh, I just think it's a really great film overall, and it does have what, to me, is personally, I think, the best version of Mechagodzilla, and I really love the design of it. But I also really love the idea of it that they took the original bones of the original Godzilla and you know, built it around it. I thought that was a really interesting concept and way to kind of redo Mechagodzilla. And, you know, the scene where he goes haywire and starts destroying things is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, so I think it's a really great one and it's my personal favorite of all the Mechagodzilla movies. So that's Godzilla against Mechagodzilla at number nine. And then at number eight is Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. It's probably one of the more, I would say, divided when it comes to the Godzilla films, particularly of the Heisei era. I've heard a lot of people think this is one of the best. Some people think this is one of the weakest. I personally have a really great time with this one. But I won't lie, the plot is very, very convoluted and strange and doesn't make a lot of sense. And if you watch the English dubbed version, which is pretty much always the version I watch of this. It's pretty laughable, some of the dubbing and stuff, but to me, that, that's what makes it enjoyable. What really stands out about this one to me, though, are really just the effects. And honestly, the, the miniature and suit effects for the Godzilla movies, particularly, you know, the original Godzilla films, is a big part of what makes them enjoyable to me and what makes me want to revisit them. And for me, I think this has some of the best miniature effects that I've seen in any movie ever. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Just the size of some of these miniatures are incredible, especially combined with the, you know, really just top-notch, you know, fight finding sequences. It's it's an absolute blast and it would certainly define kind of the look and feel of the Heisei era moving forward, which for a lot of people is their favorite era. I kind of tend to agree. I think the Heisei era is pretty awesome. And just, I love how practical the Heisei era was, especially in a time when a lot of movies were starting to switch to more digital effects, even though there are certainly digital effects in the Heisei era films. So yeah, I think it's a great movie. I loved it a lot. So that's Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah at number eight. Then at number seven, we have Godzilla vs. Biollante. 
Now, this, of course, it was the second film in the Godzilla Heisei era. I'll be honest, I do think that the plot in this one, I think, is not the strongest. I think there's certain elements that don't work as well. I don't think they did the best job of tying in the plot of what was going on with the Biolante and that aspect with all the stuff that's going on with Godzilla. But what's really great about this film, and part of the reason why it's on the list to me, is because it very much is a direct sequel to Godzilla 1984 or The Return of Godzilla. The big reason why it's on the list for me is just simply because of that aspect. Start to introduce certain characters and themes and elements that will be utilized in much of the Heisei era films. And a lot of these just, again, miniature destruction effects in this one I think is really great. But I also really just dig the tone of this one. This one just has a really cool, dark tone to it that's, again, very much in line with the return of Godzilla. I think it's a really great film. You know, Biollante is just, you know, an awesome monster design. And that final battle is great. And yeah, it's just a great movie. So that's Godzilla vs. Biollante at number seven. At number six, we've got to have some more of the Showa era on this list, so we have Destroy All Monsters. When I, whenever I'm in a Showa era Godzilla mood, this kind of has become my go-to film, and it's not one that you know everybody universally loves. Some people, you know, don't really dig it as much. For me, I, I think it's just awesome. I, I love the plot of it i love how science fiction it gets and i just love how many of the monsters are in it it just feels like it, it very much is kind of like the greatest hits if you will of the uh showa era films and i think it's just a blast from beginning to end it's just great science fiction monster fun and pretty much has all the elements that i want from a showa era godzilla film a traditional showa era godzilla film so that's destroy all monsters at number six Number five, we have Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters All Out Attack, also known as GMK for short. Took some time and many rewatches for me to kind of come around to the, what honestly I think is truly the greatness of this movie. And having watched it again not that long ago, I do think that this movie definitely does deserve the hype that it's gotten, particularly in more recent years, because it is just honestly a really cool, awesome, badass movie. It very much stands out amongst the Millennium Era films as just being kind of its own solo, standalone story. There's a certain darkness to this one, where you really do kind of see a lot of people, you know, die and destruction and it's it's definitely is a lot darker and it also kind of has a bit of a dark sense of humor to it as well and it's it's definitely there's a lot of really great just sort of small moments in this one that i think kind of build and build up to what i think is just overall just a really awesome monster movie i will say the one aspect of it that i'm not as big of a fan on is the design of Ghidorah. I think Ghidorah just the way that they decided to execute Ghidorah in this one was a little bit different than the way that they had executed Ghidorah in the previous film and because of that it made Ghidorah kind of look more kind of slouchy and not as grand as he has been presented in many of the other films. So that's just one kind of slight nitpick for me but the rest of the movie works enough to where I can kind of let that one go. So it's an awesome movie. So that's Godzilla Mothra and King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters, All Out Attack at number five. At number four is Godzilla King of the Monsters. Really was a film that was made for the fans. And it's kind of ironic that this is the my favorite of the MonsterVerse movies when it was actually kind of the least successful box office wise. It was the one that got dismayed by the critics the most. It was the general audiences didn't get it. And you know, and yet it is for you know people like myself who are massive lifelong Godzilla fans, there is so many great aspects of it to appreciate and especially with them you know incorporating you know the uh, oxygen destroyer and burning Godzilla and of course just getting to see Rodan, Mothra and King Ghidorah back on the screen. I think for me personally this might be my favorite version of King Ghidorah that we've ever gotten and I love the concept of wherever Ghidorah goes you know the weather changes. Obviously things that some people complain about it that oh you know it's too dark or whatever or the human characters are not so great. I don't feel that way about any of it. I think this has some of the strongest 
human characters of all of the Godzilla films. I think it, the world building is great in it. I, I think visually it, it, it is absolutely beautiful. And for me, honestly, I just think it's a fantastic movie. And I think it's unfortunate that it wasn't able to be as embraced by a lot of the general movie audiences and some other Godzilla fans. But I don't care. I love it. So that's Godzilla King the Monsters at number four. At number three is Godzilla vs. Destroyer. There are times in this movie where it feels like you're watching a straight up horror film. And as somebody who's a huge horror fan, I love that. And there's definitely a lot of, you know, sort of alien and aliens kind of influence, especially with Destroyer. But I think, you know, that plot wise, I think that this movie's fantastic. I think it, it works really well as being, you know, a final entry into the Heisei era films. And if this was the final Godzilla movie, or at least the final Toho Godzilla movie, I think nobody would be complaining because it would have been a fantastic one for them to go out on. And it remains as I just being just such a fantastic gripping film. And the ending of it is really emotional and works really well. It's it's the music in it is fantastic. Destroyer is just one of the coolest monsters, movie monsters that I think has ever been put to screen. And I certainly hope that maybe in the MonsterVerse one day, we get a new version of Destroyer, hopefully. It's Godzilla vs. Destroyer at number three. At number two, we have the most recent Toho Godzilla film, Godzilla Minus One. Praised and talked about uh, to death pretty much in, in recently, and rightfully so, because I think it's pretty much about as good as you could want a Godzilla movie to be. And it's the kind of film that transcends the genre that it is a film of. And whenever a film comes out and it's able to transcend the genre and able to go to places that other films in the genre that haven't gone before, it, it it's of course always going to stand out and this movie you know it's certainly a, it goes back to a lot of the you know original ideas of Godzilla but it also goes in some new directions as well and it's it's just a wonderful well told story it has so many just draw dropping moments in it a wonderful wonderful example of taking something that's been done a million times before but just finding a way to be true to the origins but also do something new and do something that is honestly just incredibly impressive and beautiful and tragic really incredible experience and the kind of movie where if you've never seen any Godzilla film before you can just watch this film and enjoy it on its own it's just being a incredible film and it's honestly it was very very close to putting it at number one but there's just one other film that for me personally uh, I just ever so slightly prefer so that's Godzilla minus one at number two at number one we have Godzilla 1984, also known as The Return of Godzilla. Of course, was the start of the incredible Heisei era. A lot of the things that people are praising Minus One for, rightfully so, were also, you know, done 40 years earlier with this movie. And this, to me, I think just on a practical effects basis, compared to all of the Showa era and Heisei era and Millennium era films, I think it's the best that we've ever gotten. I think it's the best uh, miniature effects we've ever gotten in a Godzilla film. I think the design of Godzilla, I think, is one of the best that we've ever had in a Godzilla movie. And the story of it and the way that it is framed, I think, really, really is interesting. And it really plays with a lot of the ideas of Godzilla. How much of it is about how does the world deal with something like Godzilla and the conflict that kind of comes from that and it's a beautifully beautifully directed film and I think honestly as much as there are other Godzilla fans that praise this I still don't think it quite gets the praise that it deserves phenomenal on so many aspects and the introduction of Godzilla when they truly show you Godzilla for the first time is 
just absolutely brilliant and is so well executed and even 40 years later still works incredibly well. So it's a fantastic movie. It has easily some of my favorite visuals and effects and shots in any Godzilla film. And to me, it just it remains as being my personal favorite of the entire franchise, which is very tough to say and tough to choose because I think so many of these movies are just wonderful. So there you go. That's the return of Godzilla at number one. All right, guys, there you go. That is my personal top 10 list of Godzilla movies. Feel free to jump in the comments down below and let me know what your top 10 favorite Godzilla movies are. And until next time, be sure to consume as much entertainment as humanly possible, and I will see you in the next video.